for two non empty sets a and b function is a rule f which assigns to each x belonging to a a unique y belonging to b in this entire definition of functions there are three keywords which are highlighted the first keyword is the rule f which transforms elements of set a into elements of set b number two each x belonging to a it means that every element of a must have an image in set b you cannot leave an element of a without having an image in set b or without having a corresponding element in set b so whether it's arrow diagram or a tabular form in arrow diagram there must be an arrow originating from every element of set a and if it is a tabular form then every element of a must appear in exactly one pair as first element and the third unique y belonging to b means that every element of a can have only one image it cannot be associated with two elements every element must have an association and that association must be unique this is the exact definition of function and let's consider an example here we have a set a in which there are five canadian cities and set b is a set of integers which has few numbers now the set a is associated with set b with rule of transformation and that rule of transformation is named as f let's make that rule with the help of an arrow diagram and name this as f it is important that you create this linkage because that linkage shows the name of rule is f which transforms elements of a into elements of set b now what is the rule here in this case f is the rule equal to number of letters number of letters in the name of city in the name of city this is the rule that first element of set a is winnipeg it has eight letters in the name of this city so winnipeg must be associated with eight here so let's build this association calgary has seven so calgary must be associated with seven and toronto has exactly seven letters so we can associate toronto with seven brandon is also associated with seven because this also has seven elements and montreal is associated with eight because it has eight elements now you can see that every element of a is, has an image in set b because there is an arrow which is originating from every element of set a so the condition of each x belonging to a is fulfilled if there were two arrows originating from the same element of a then the condition of unique would have been violated now there is winnipeg has only one association and that is equal to 8 sometime some students confuse that 7 is an image of so many cities but we are not talking about the elements of b we are talking about elements of a every element of a has an image number 
and number two, every element has a unique image. Montreal has a unique, there is only one image of Montreal, which is it. Brandon has only one image, that is seven. Seven could be image of so many other, but the Montreal only has one image. So, we just take look on these conditions and if those conditions are satisfied, then we say that this rule f is a function. If we were to use tabular form, even then we could see that every pair, uh, let's write down, down that uh, tabular form of this function. So f is equal to Winnipeg, Winnipeg to 8 and Calgary, Calgary is 7. The third pair is Toronto, Toronto that has 7 and Brandon has 7 as well. Brandon seven and next is Montreal Montreal and Montreal has eight so this relation which is named here as F you can see that every element in the domain. Let's write down the domain of f. Domain of f is equal to set a. Every element of a is appearing in exactly one uh, pair, ordered pair as first element. So domain of f is equal to a and the second condition was that domain of F contains distinct elements, distinct elements. These are the two conditions which we learned from previous lesson. So whether we use those two conditions from previous lesson for a relation to be called a function or we take a look on these two conditions which we have defined in this definition of function that for each x belonging to A, there must be a unique y belonging to B. I repeat that every element of A must have an image and every element must have only one image. That those are the conditions of each and unique and those two conditions which we have learned from the previous lesson, those are one and the same thing. So here we want to have a contradictory example. Example here is that give an example of a relation, give an example of a relation of a relation F from R to R which is not a function which is not a function. There are thousands of examples which we can give but let's take this example that here we have two sets. Let's make this set as set A and there is another set, set B. And here is set A. This does contain, among so many other elements, if this contains 16 and this contains minus 4 and plus 4. The rule which combines 
A with B, where A is in fact equal to R and B is equal to R as well. And name of this is F. And F is the rule is equal to is square of square of means element of A is square of element of B means element of A is square of element of B. Then 16 must have two combinations or two transformations or two linkages here two arrows because 16 is a square of minus 4 and 16 is also square of plus 4. You can see that 16 appears twice as 16 has two images 16 belonging to A has two images two images belonging to B so F is not a function so F is not a function.